What is up, people of the internet? It is me, Real American, back in with a new video. And today, it is time that we discuss the impending border crisis. Yep, we are mere days away from, let's just say the border getting significantly worse than it has been for the past couple of years now. So as many of you know, the border's been in chaos as millions of undocumented immigrants have been storming the border and, quite frankly, we're getting overwhelmed in many parts of the border. But here's the thing, it's about to get way worse. Just a couple days from now, a certain Title 42 is about to expire. And to say that it's going to cause a lot of problems is an understatement. Now, before we continue with today's video, I hope you enjoy these type of videos. If you do, smash the like button down below, subscribe, share with your friends, hit that little bell, follow the Twitter accounts in the description down below. Guys, go follow Real American Politics on Twitter. It is a great Twitter account that I recommend you follow. Follow the Rumble page for exclusive content. And, of course, join the channel today. Guys, just for $3 a month. You could join Real American, which is a phenomenal deal as it helps support the daily content we all know and love. You love the daily content? Well, this is the best way to support it. So I hope and recommend you join the channel today. Alright, so this is a serious problem that's about to happen in a couple days. At 11.59pm on Thursday, May 11th, so this Thursday... One emergency will officially end and another may begin. That's when the Biden administration has scheduled the end of the COVID-19 health emergency, which also means the expiration of the pandemic era practice that begun under Trump's administration of immediately expelling people trying to cross the border without allowing them to request asylum. So Title 42 essentially said, no, you're gone. You automatically get expelled. And it happened because of the coronavirus pandemic and the white house, you know, in the middle of one of the biggest surges we've ever seen, they're going to ex just let it expire. What? One of the major things that we got that's, you know, preventing the border from somehow getting even more atrocious. We're just going to let it expire. It's pure incompetence. White house officials are bracing for a surge of people to cross the Southern border in the wake of the change. President Biden has ordered 1,500 troops to deploy along the border for three months. Only three months and only 1,500 troops? I mean, that should be like for the border of like New Mexico itself. You can't expect just 1,500 troops to cover the entire border with Mexico. And this is just pure incompetence. Calling 10,000, fine, but 1,500? That's going to barely cover maybe parts of New Mexico. It's just a joke what the Biden administration is doing. Because they know a surge is about to happen. Both for Title 42's expiration and the way it has warped immigration patterns for the last three years are widely misunderstood. Administration officials and immigration experts say, really? That's complicated the debate over its expiration, which has been delayed multiple times as Republican state officials have sued to keep it in place. This time, though, a court reprieve appeals appears less likely. Criminal smugglers hoping to increase profits have been incorrectly telling would-be migrants that the end of the COVID-19 emergency and the associated expiration Title 42, authorities will allow people to more easily come into the U.S. That is not the case according to the Biden administration. But here's the thing, though. Title 42 was one of the last major things that we had that were preventing these people from flooding the border even more because you can immediately expel them with title 42 now it's just gonna get horrible and to say that this is a disaster is an understatement and the republican party needs to get its act together and say no i mean where have they been the past couple of days when it comes to title 42 yes some have been saying republicans need to, need to take a stand on the issue but outside of that, I mean, it seems like there's no panic at the impending crisis. Along with sending troops to the border, the Biden administration is trying to convince migrants to not try and enter that way in the first place. Good luck. I mean, 
do you really think these people that they've been flooding the border for years now, suddenly they will just magically stop when the one last thing that we got that can expel these people is gone? You think they're going to just magically stop coming? You're delusional. The State Department is preparing to open processing centers in Guatemala and Colombia where migrants wanting to come to the U.S. can meet with caseworkers and see if they qualify for one of le multiple legal pathways into the country. Th that's actually not the worst idea. <laughs> you know, I'm for, you know, restricted immigration, but if this is the way we can reduce immigration, the mess of the border, fine. But this should not be the only thing. The Biden administration is also continuing to allow 30,000 migrants each month from Cu uh, from Cuba, Haiti, Nicaragua, Venezuela to apply for humanitarian parole from outside the U.S. and get permission to enter the U.S. via commercial airline instead of paying criminal smugglers to bring them over land. But that's not going to work. I mean, I don't get what the Biden administration is trying to accomplish here. This is just going to cause way more problems than people expect. And you look here, an April poll found that 76% of swing state voters had positive views of increasing border security. People want a secure border. And these people are at the Biden administration. They're just, you know, oh, we're going to just let this happen. We're going to totally secure the border. But we're going to expire the one thing that's helped us the past couple of years yeah, we're, we're just let that go away. This is going to backfire not only politically, but it's going to backfire as you're going to see more and more horrific events like you saw in Texas a couple days ago. Where you had a lunatic run into a crowd of people with an SUV and killed seven. You had thing at the mall where a shooter went in and killed a bunch of people. You're going to start seeing more and more of that because you're letting criminals, thugs, whatever you want to call these people. There's a lot of them. These aren't, you know, women and children. A lot of these are able-bodied men that are, you know, 20-some. That's what the vast majority of these are. And we've knew about this for years, but it's getting worse somehow. So this idea that it's somehow a, uh, this is totally a, uh, t totally, uh, women and children. That's baloney. A lot of these people, there's a large chunk of them, they do have ties to MS-13. That's not me being racist or something like that. That's just statistically true. How many MS-13 people have been let in the past couple of years? And this is only going to get worse. And the Republican Party, they're just saying, we got to expand Title 42. That's part of it. That should be the only thing. Finish the border wall, increase the amount of money going to the border agents, and you may also see a significant decrease in the what's happening at the border. It, it just the Republican Party is just frustrating with me because they have a gold mine on immigration. It's always been their bread and butter the past couple of years, and they've been quiet. There's been a couple of Republicans here and there saying we can't let Title 42 expire, but. Even like this article said, this is just a bandage. This is just a band-aid. There needs to be a serious talk about what we have to do. And not amnesty. That's not the way we need to do it. If we give amnesty, politically we're screwed. So hopefully Republicans, they do something quickly because only a couple days away from this happening. Anyways, folks, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, smash the like button down below. Subscribe. Share with your friends. Hit that little bell. Follow the Twitter accounts in the description down below. And, of course, join the channel today. Thank you so much. Godspeed to all of you.